Let's go. I'm better than ever, they never been better than I. Regarded the hardest, and I ain't even reaching my prime. They hate that I'm great, and they fake, and I'm real as they come. So sit back and let me show you how this shit is done. My composition, my propositions, I'm raping the system. I'm killing the competition, and all of y'all are my victims. Eyes and ooze as I'm ripping the instrumental. Lyrical individual, never been sentimental. I'm so hot every time I beat drop. And when I say I'm raping. We all need to come together for a blacklist. A blacklist is crazy. But here's the problem with, the, with trying to come up with a community blacklist, right? Number one, a lot of people, and if you've been here from the beginning of the Fight Night community, Sendo could tell you, a lot of people have burner accounts. Way too many people are, are professional... Uh, we got too many fucking James Bond characters running around around this motherfucker to sit here and come up with a ban list for everybody. That's how people in this community, their mindset is. If I can't catch you or I don't want to be embarrassed on my main, so I will snipe you instead. I don't want you to know it's me because then if you know it's me, you're going to play a certain type of way. This whole there's a there's a best player in the game thing has never really existed. Because kind of similar to how real boxing is, a lot of the top players will either be scared to play each other due to the embarrassment that comes from it. They don't they don't like the embarrassment. Or they don't want their name to have a you know a certain they don't want their name to be tarnished in any type of way. Whereas like if you look in other communities, um it's a normal thing for all the top players to kind of just play each other. And then even then, you know, certain people don't wanna oh I beat this person. And, and lane or uh, you know in, in a set of 10 we did this that and third it, it's too much bitch assness going on you're gonna be somebody they're gonna get on a burner account probably get you back or you you gotta just be tapped in all the time like like no matter who i play i'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to beat the fuck out of everybody but not every you have days you know you just get on you just want to play be thinking about like you don't be thinking like that and then i get it too because sometimes somebody will catch you slipping once no it was a close fight and put on this big ass provider or this big ass ego like oh i'm just the best player in the world i beat you by one or two points and it's like you know this was close if you know the fight was close and we're a similar skill level i will see why you don't want to play me either because it's the set that really determines a uh, proper skill level like i'll give you an example in league of legends right you could have a team that's really good at best of ones right but then if you play that same team in a best of five, the adaptation is what shows the true skill level of the player. So the adaptation is, is what shows true skill. Because you could be good at a best of one, but you may not be that good in a best of three. You may not be that good in a best of five. Oh boy, why plot? You got a Wi-Fi player chat. Fuck, I was not paying attention. Bro, it lags every time I throw something. Anytime I do a, a, a input, it lags. Look, see, I'm not pressing anything. Really fine. As soon as I press something, lag, lag. Holy shit. Jeez, that's horrible. You start to think that only one way is the way to go you got to force yourself to work your way in i remind myself and i remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height walk him into traps mike tyson's on the bad end of a flush solid hook that hook was well off the mark and he returns oh my god change. look at this shit Every time I th look, anytime I do some type of input, it just like what is that? And now he's targeting upstairs. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. A headshot block. Way to hit the target there. Jab upper. I, I bet this is how Goku felt when he was fighting hit. Like holy shit. A flush hook scores well for him. Dude, a fucking one second pause every time. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. A well placed left hand up top. Clean shot with the right. Really good work.
work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Mike Tyson. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds. Black switching is crazy. Which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. <laughs> oh, he's a known cheater. He uses a lag switch. Oh, oh, okay. So this is everybody knows this guy. Okay. So how do you beat a lag switcher, chat? And he's starting to get up. There's a couple of seconds left. There's probably five <laughs> seconds left before he has to get oh up. And he's getting God. up early. Can you imagine me that this shows you right what you're talking about. He can He's chomping at the bit. He's confident. That is exactly what the corner wants. So nobody was going to warn me in chance to let. I mean, he's not hard. He, like, it's not like he's super skilled or anything, but. Was something special. Right there, Mike Tyson was able to score well with the hook. Little head knocking with that right hand. Right to the body. Tyson's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. How about that left hand? Committing to the combo Wait. now. Both I'm sorry to I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I play League of Legends, bro. I got to think about everything before I do it anyway. That's not gonna affect me. Something called foresight, chat. Tyson's lucky he just got away with one there. He just snuck in a head bump. Blocks away that headshot. Little head hunting with the left. Final minute of a round that'll go down in the history books. Nice block by Mike Tyson. Gotta try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Nice combination. Landing more than one. Both were able to score. Able to place the right hand in there. Mike Tyson's tag. He continues. It's not gonna affect me, bro. Four side and IQ. That's that's all it is. And he's gonna quit anyway. You just play out the, the you just play out the scenario in your head before you go in anyway. So it's just not a big deal. Scores well to the head with the right hand. And round number three is underway. A little head hunting with the right. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. And now the right hand, he is not in good shape. Oh! Once again, hey, what, are we, what are we doing here, man? He hey, turn that dumbass shit off. You're only ruining yourself, too. Three, four, five. Mike Tyson's going to have to pull himself together. That's stamina. Here. And now the ref gets involved. He doesn't really have a flaw. Able to land the Best hook. fighter in the division outside of Isaac Cross. He can catch, can catch uh, Mike Tyson if he doesn't understand how to use his advantages. All the fighters with better reach, he hits harder than men in the division besides Isaac Cross. So the other fighters don't hit as hard. Either they don't have the level of defense. So you can't even really utilize the, the reach disadvantage like that. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook. Big, big shot he just scored with. Forget about the judges. This one may be over now. Tyson's so, as as with anything, if you beat yourself, then you lose. With, you lose. And then he did all that to quit anyway. Like, what's the point, bro? What is the point? And I'll probably, I'll probably get the L for this match anyway. <laughs> 